I'm Kimberly with the Fat Quarter Shop and today I wanted to show you how to use the Quilt in a Day Flying Geese Ruler. I went to the Paducah show about 10 years ago and I didn't even know who Eleanor Burns was. And I went to one of her classes and I just fell in love with her and I especially fell in love with this ruler. It comes in two sizes and I use it all the time. When you use this ruler, you're gonna have less waste when you make your flying geese and you're gonna trim your flying geese down so they end up the perfect size and so they work better in your quilts. And I've used this ruler for a really long time and I just love it and I'm gonna show you today how you can use it. So today we're gonna make two inch by four inch flying geese using the large ruler. And you're gonna start with two squares. You can follow the cut sizes following her instructions that come with the ruler. And you're gonna draw a line a quarter inch from the center you put the fabrics right sides together. Just draw a line, flip it, and then draw another line to the other side, a quarter inch. So here's your center, and we're drawing a line a quarter inch this way, a quarter inch this way, and we're gonna pin once on each side. Then we're gonna go to the sewing machine and we're just gonna stitch on these lines. Now you'll cut right in the center in between the stitches. Line up the ruler at the tip of each large triangle. And then you will just take these and press towards your larger triangle. So now you'll just take those units, put them right sides together with opposing fabrics touching, so your yellow and your red meet on both sides. You're going to pin in place, just pin once, it'll be fine, on each side. And then you'll notice when you flip this up, your seams don't nest and that's the way it should be. And then we're going to draw a line just like we did before on the opposite seam. and you'll just stitch directly on these two lines. And now we're gonna cut in the center from tip to tip. So in between your two seams, you're gonna just make a little clip in your fabric. And then you're gonna iron, and you're gonna iron this one towards the yellow, and then where you clipped, you're gonna press the other one towards the yellow. So it's looking like this. So now you've got your sewing done and we just have to trim down the blocks and we are finished. You're gonna use the ruler. I added some Collins fabric grips just to help it um, grip to the fabric so it won't move. And all you do is you follow the line and you put your line on the ruler exactly on your fabric. I'm using a rotating mat today just because then you can move the mat, not the fabric. You just trim. Move the mat as you trim. And now you just turn your ruler around. Line up the very back of the ruler with the red line. So ta-da, you've got a perfect flying geese. And each of these is gonna make a total of four, and it's just as simple as that. Eleanor, thanks for helping all of us out make perfect flying geese. See you next week on next week's Simple Snippet.